Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover 20 seeds you can start growing in September. Now, if you're in zone 9 and 10, you can grow these seeds anytime during the month of September. In zone 7 and 8, you can grow these at the beginning of September or middle of September. For zone 6 and below, always start these seeds in the beginning of September. Now, I don't want to forget upon my friends in Southern Hemisphere, such as Australia, South America, and South Africa. So if you're in Southern Hemisphere, watch this video on seeds to grow in March, because that's what you'll be doing in September. So let's get started. Number one, lettuce. Lettuce loves cool weather, and it grows really well between 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 12 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius. If the temperature grows above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 26 degrees Celsius, lettuce will bolt and start producing seed. Good thing about lettuce is that even if you get early frost in October or November, you can still plant lettuce in September and keep harvesting lettuce leaves until you get first frost. Sow lettuce seeds quarter of an inch deep, plant spacing and row spacing should be 12 inches apart. If you don't get frost until mid-November, you can also harvest whole heads of lettuce as well. Number two, cilantro. Now cilantro also loves temperature below 80 degree Fahrenheit and you can keep harvesting cilantro leaves as cilantro is growing. Plant cilantro seeds quarter of an inch deep, Plant spacing should be 6 inches apart and row spacing 12 inches apart. You can start harvesting cilantro leaves just one month after planting. So even if you get first frost in late October or early November, you can still plant cilantro seeds in September and get a good harvest until the first frost. Cilantro also grows really well in containers. Number 3, broccoli. Now broccoli is hardy to 28 degree Fahrenheit. And broccoli is easy to grow as compared to cauliflower and cabbage broccoli turns into a nice huge crown which is the flower of the plant. You can harvest the main crown of broccoli and keep harvesting lots of little broccolinis as well and enjoy them in your food. Number four kale. A kale is frost resistant to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get a little bit of light frost, kale will make it through it at no problem. However, kale leaves do get wilted in light frost. So if you want to enjoy tender kale leaves, you must cover your kale plants with either a plastic tote or a greenhouse plastic. That way you can enjoy nice tender kale leaves all winter long. The seed depth for kale should be quarter of an inch deep, plant spacing should be 12 inches apart, and row spacing 18 inches apart. You can start harvesting the leaves of kale just about two months after planting. As soon as the plant gets about four sets of leaves, you can start harvesting the outer leaves. Number five, Swiss chard. A Swiss chard is hardy down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And Swiss chard is super easy to grow. You can start with some Swiss chard seeds. You can directly sow Swiss chard into the ground even in early fall. And you can enjoy Swiss chard all winter long. Now you can start harvesting kale and Swiss chard leaves as soon as the plant gets about four sets of leaves. And you can keep harvesting older leaves and encourage new leaves to grow. Number six, collard greens. Now collard greens are hardy down to five degrees Fahrenheit. They can tolerate frost and some snow as well. Now collard green leaves are a little bit tough. That's why they're so hardy in winter. So if you want to enjoy collard green leaves, you must saute them or cook them and add them to your soup or some warm salad. Number seven, peas. Now peas are also really easy to grow. You can directly sow peas in your ground or you can start pea seedlings ahead of time. Another note, you can also grow pea shoot microgreens and I made a separate video on how to grow microgreens so check those out if you're interested. Now growing peas is super easy, you just need some sort of a trellis for peas to climb on. And you can start harvesting peas in just two months because pea plants will start producing peas just two months into growing and you can harvest peas all the way into spring. Number eight, carrots. Now carrots are also frost resistant and they can take light snow as well. Carrots are hardy down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you do get some snow, you can still harvest carrots that are growing underground under the snow. So that's a really cool thing about carrots. Now one thing about growing carrots is that you must have loose soil to grow strong and straight carrots. Otherwise your carrots will grow crooked. So you must grow your carrots on berms or raised beds. Number nine, radish. Now, just like carrots, radishes love loose soil. So you must plant your radishes either on berms or on raised beds. And radishes are hardy down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get light snow, radishes will make it through. Now, nice thing about growing radishes and carrots is that the leaves are edible too. So you can add these leaves into your salad or also saute them to add them to your soup as well. 
number 10 garlic which is my favorite because garlic is absolutely maintenance free you can just use grocery store garlic to grow your garlic just make sure you buy organic garlic because conventional garlic is sprayed with grow suppressants it might not grow as well to grow garlic choose bigger garlic cloves plant garlic cloves thumb length deep and a hand's length apart so basically plant garlic cloves two inches deep and six inches apart the row spacing should be six inches to 12 inches apart I also have a complete guide to growing garlic as well, so check that out if you're interested. You can also grow garlic in containers too. Number 11, spinach. Now spinach is also really good to start in September because you can start harvesting spinach leaves just one month after planting. You can keep harvesting spinach leaves until you get your first frost. Number 12, cauliflower. Now cauliflower is a little bit tough to grow because insects and pests love cauliflower. So you must spray your cauliflower with neem oil and a pure castle soap to keep the bugs off of them. And also you can use some diatomaceous earth to get rid of some of the beetles, some of the earwigs as well. Now cauliflower is hardy to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get a little bit of frost or even a little bit of snow, you can still grow cauliflower. Number 13, cabbage. Cabbage is similar to cauliflower and pests love cabbage as well. So you have to be very proactive in spraying cabbage with neem oil and pure castile soap as well. And cabbage is hardy to 20 degree Fahrenheit. So you can always grow cabbage in frost and even light snow as well. Number 14, mustard. Mustard also likes cool weather and you can start mustard from seed in September. You can start harvesting leaves of mustard just one month after planting. So if you get your first frost in mid-October or after, you'll be able to get good harvest from mustard leaves. Plant mustard seeds half an inch deep, plant spacing should be 3 inches apart and row spacing 9 inches apart. You can deadhead the mustard flowers to encourage more leaves to grow. However, mustard flowers are also edible. Number 15, fenugreek. You can start fenugreek from seed, just soak the seeds in water 2 hours before planting. Sow the seeds half an inch deep, plant spacing should be anywhere from 1 to 3 inches apart and row spacing 12 inches apart. You can start harvesting fenugreek leaves just one and a half month after planting. The more you harvest, the more leaves will grow. You can keep harvesting fenugreek leaves until the first frost hits. Number 16, potatoes. Potatoes love cool weather below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. You can start potatoes in August or September. Just make sure you give potatoes at least three months before the first frost hits. That way you can get the most harvest. However, there is an art to planting potatoes. If your potato is the size of an egg or smaller, plant the whole potato. Make sure you only have one to two eyes on potatoes. So you have lots of eyes, it will create a lot more plants and the potatoes will be much smaller. You'll get a lot more potatoes, but very small potatoes. But if you keep only one or two eyes on your potatoes, you'll get fewer potatoes, but very large potatoes. I have a separate video on the experiment that I conducted on this and you can check out the results as well. Now if the potatoes that you're planting are bigger than the size of an egg, you can cut the potatoes in half or even quarters depending on the size of the potato. If you do cut the potato, make sure the scar heals up very nicely. It takes about a week for the scars to heal up and then you can plant potatoes directly in your garden. When you're planting your potatoes, make sure you plant them at least four to six inches deep and they are at least 12 inches apart. Potatoes love rich organic matter and they also like slightly acidic soil. They love pH of about 5.0 to 5.5. To lower the pH level of your soil, you can use elemental sulfur and you can also use vinegar mixed with water to water your soil as well to lower the pH. Now at the time of planting potatoes, I use very well balanced organic slow release fertilizer. And I also use iron phosphate because that gets rid of earwigs. Earwigs can eat the leaves of potato plants, so it actually helps a lot to add iron phosphate in your soil and they'll get rid of earwigs and your plants will be safe. I have a separate video on everything you need to know on how to plant potatoes, so check that out if you're interested. You can harvest potatoes three months after planting and potatoes are a lot of fun to grow. You can also grow potatoes in containers. Leave some room on the top. This way you can keep adding more soil as the plants grow. This is equal to hilling or mounting the potatoes. Number 17, onions. Now you can start your onions in September and if your region gets a little bit of frost during the winter, the onions are frost hardy and they will keep on growing all the way through winter. And you can harvest mature onions in spring. Just make sure you grow short day onions in fall. If your region gets heavy frost or snow, you can still grow onions in September and harvest them as green onions. You can grow onions to maturity in zone 8 and above. If you're in zone 7 and below, you can grow them as green onions. You can grow onions from sets or from seeds. Just plant the seeds quarter of an inch deep, 
plan spacing should be 4 inches apart and row spacing anywhere from 4 to 6 inches apart. I also made a complete guide on growing lots of onions, so check that out if you're interested. Number 18 beets. Sow the seeds directly into your garden at least two months before the first frost. Sow seeds quarter of an inch deep, plant spacing should be three to four inches apart and row spacing 12 inches apart. Beets take up to three months to harvest if you want to get really big beets. However, just after two months, you can start harvesting beets. Number 19, turnips. You can also seed turnips right into your ground just two months before the first frost date. If you get your first frost in November, you can plant turnip seeds in August or September. In about two months, you can harvest really nice turnips. Number 20, arugula. Arugula is very easy to grow and is practically maintenance free. Arugula does not do well in heat and it loves cool temperature and it can even tolerate light frost. It can tolerate temperatures all the way down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Arugula seeds can germinate all the way down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 4 degrees Celsius. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you grow all of these seeds in September and grow a lush fall garden. And I'll see you in another video.